welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage, and today I wanted to share with you a few little tips for working inside of Maya. Um, these are things, you know, I'm getting settled, learning Maya, getting things all set up, and there are a few things that I've run across and I wanted to share with you uh, what I've experienced so far, a couple of the big ones. So first up, we've got this weird screen sort of artifact thing that happens. Every time I move my scene around, when I have too large of a scene, you'll see I have to get really close to it for it to start to get better, but I have this weird kind of just fracturing of everything, and it just, it sucks. So how do you fix this? Uh, well, I found the solution, so in your perspective view here, I'm going to go, and, and you can switch by hitting the space bar here, so I'm going to switch into uh, perspective. Up here in the corner, I'm going to go view, select camera. So now I've actually selected the camera that is part of that perspective view. We can make adjustments to that, and the adjustments we need to make over here under your attribute editor, under camera attributes, under the near clip plane. This seems to be the culprit. So the closer I make this to a solid value of 1.0, the better it gets. For example, if we back these out, and I'm going to do 0 0.01. There we go. Oh, look, it got a little bit better, a little smoother, but still kind of fracturing. So I just went, go for broke, set it to a solid 1. And now my scene looks fantastic. I can zoom in and out, I can work on my kit. And I've also noticed that the far clip plane can be a problem for when I'm zooming out. There is a point where the whole thing will just disappear. And right there is my point right there. But I think that's plenty. I'd probably only be about this scale. So what I have set up for this is, now as I zoom in and out, I have the far clip plane set to a huge number, just one and a ton of zeros until it works out nicely. And now we've corrected that issue and now I can see the scene properly now I can start making things how how's that okay now for our second little tip here I want to talk about adding your custom uh, scripts up to the bar here you can see I have one here called harden and what this does is it will take an object and it will set all the UV borders to be hard and then set all the other borders to be soft and if I right click here or I think if I just click and hover hover there it is it'll show you the actual code which is really cool but how do we add it to the bar here? Well, that's under the Mel scripter here. So we have this up, and here's the code. So I can write my code in here. I can save my code. And then here's a button to say, save this script to the shelf. Now, the one thing to note about this is if you have multiples of these that you want to put in a row, you have to add them in order. I have not yet found a way to reorder them once they're here. All I had to do was remove them all and then re-add them in the correct order. So that's a little bit of a pain. I'm gonna look into that, but that should be uh, possible. So I just hit here and say, save script to shelf, and I'm gonna give it a name. We're gonna call this one test. And I'm gonna say, okay, and there it is. Look at that, test is now there. And now I can take any object. This one I happen to know is already unwrapped. And I just click test, and there we go. And it's changed all the borders. You can't really tell from this view, but you can see that there has been a definite change to it. And it's all set, it's ready to move along. So I can just do that to all my objects. I'm gonna undo those changes for now because I want to use this later but that's a good example of how to add a script to the toolbar so once you find or you create a script for yourself that you think is super handy and you want to have it available at the click of a button you just go ahead and do, go into the mail scripter there and add them up to the top here and you're all set so re to recap for today we talked about how to add the script to the top here and make sure we have one click access which is really nice and we learned how to access our camera for the scene and make changes to how the camera views, which is super handy for looking at our objects careful, uh, you know, clearly and carefully and make sure that we see exactly where things are and we don't have a screen artifact impeding our view and um, impeding our progress as we're working. So that's all I have for today, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed. As always, keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues. Thank you.